What's going on you guys? So it's about that time of the year where 2K breaks my team for us and I'm about to explain to you why and how they do that. So for those of you who don't know, the My Team Unlimited tournament, the one for $250,000, just ended over the All-Star break. And so because that wrapped up, it's time for 2K to break my team. Now this isn't based on any like inside information that I have. To me, this is just logical in how 2K makes money. But yeah, as soon as the tournament ends, they drop a Galaxy Opal Michael Jordan and a Galaxy Opal Vince Carter. Now why would they do that? now instead of earlier and my theory is that they didn't want guys in that tournament just to cheese all game even though they probably did i didn't watch it but i could assume there was some cheese that was going on probably with uh, pink diamond Giannis. so yeah that tournament ended congratulations to whoever won i didn't watch it like i said but yeah go ahead and buy you a new house a new car whatever but so they want to break the game with these overpowered cards for a couple of reasons one reason is because when 2k21 comes out they don't want people still playing this game and the way to do that is to break it as best as they can and how do you do that you bring in as much cheese and as much op nonsense as you can it, we got galaxy opal mj galaxy opal vc a new pink diamond Giannis, but i consider him a galaxy opal uh point guard pink diamond lebron consider him a galaxy opal too you know just these insanely op cards that are super expensive only way you're gonna get them is if you spend a bunch of money on the game and so if you don't spend money on the game you're basically screwed and there's no way you're gonna go 12 and 0 because eventually you're gonna run into a guy who spent over like a thousand bucks on the game got all these op cards and there's just no point in playing anymore and i'm not saying that's a bad thing i know it's part of the business i'm just saying i'm just telling you guys on why i think this happens and speaking of money that's the second reason people I'm not gonna lie, I love Galaxy Opals, and I love Pink Diamonds, and you do too. Even though they're cheesy and they make you want to break your controller sometimes, these cards are still fun to play with. And with that being said, I know they're fun to use, but guys, it's not worth it. It's not worth the amount of money that you have to spend just to acquire one of these cards. So yeah, don't even bother, you know, spending 50 to 100 bucks on VC to open these boxes because the, the pull rate for these cards are terrible. I myself pulled, I'd say around 20 of the All-Star Flash Packs, and I got nothing, bro. It, it, these packs are just so dry, and I don't know if it's different for you guys, and the odds in this game is it, just it's bad, man. The only way you're gonna pull something is if you spend like over a million MT or VC on these packs, and that's just not worth it in my opinion. So save your money, wait for 2K21, or if you're really good, then there's plenty of cheap pink diamonds that you could use that'll help you go 12 and 0 yeah i'm actually gonna do a video on that on which uh pink diamonds you should use that you can get for cheap that'll help you go 12 and 0 to compete against these galaxy opals that they got in the game now so if you do want to see that video then just leave a like and let me know in the comments i do want to hear you guys' opinion on these new cards that they're coming out with i know a lot of you like them but trust me it's not worth spending the money on it but yeah that's all i got for this video i hope everybody's doing good and i'll catch y'all in the next one bye mm -hmm.